Hi everyone, welcome to another basic inspiration class at basicgrade.com. This time I'm going to be walking you through the creation of the fruit cake mini album kit or mini book kit and you get the chipboard album and you also get some tag die cuts, some alpha stickers, and then all the pattern papers you need to cut out and decorate your album. So I've already done some prep work. I cut out all the pieces I'm going to need and there is a paper cutting guide with the instructions that you can download when you buy your kit. And what happens is you buy your kit and then the download is added to the to your download section at basicgrade.com. So you could even order the kit and then download the instructions and you'll be read through them beforehand and then you'll pre be prepared for when the supplies arrive on your doorstep. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to decorate a few of the inside pages. So they're already done and then I'll be back and I'll show you the step-by-step -step creation of a couple of the pages as well. The first page we're gonna work on is the cover. So I've cut this piece out using the template and if you're wondering, um, some more tips on cutting things out. Uh, be sure to watch the Perhaps mini album video. It was a basic inspiration video just a few weeks back and I'll link it right here for you. So I'm just going to get that on there as well as I can. And then I'm going to take an X-Acto knife and I'm just using the end and I'm going around these eyelets just so I can kind of see where they're at. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and adhere this tag down. This was a one of the die cut tags on top of some pattern paper and then trimmed out. goes right there. This is supposed to be a photo, but I don't have this album all finished yet because it's for Christmas. So I'll have to finish it up as the Christmas season goes comes along. Okay, and then I took the pattern paper that has the ornaments on it, and as per the instructions, I cut the ornaments out, and I'm going to glue them down. Some little holly berries from that same piece of pattern paper and it's just going to come up right up here. Before I adhere, I'm going to go ahead and put the um, title of the album. And I'm doing it now because I don't want to accidentally uh, have the, the letters cover up this holly berry, or the holly and ivy. So it's supposed to say holiday. So I'm going to start with the Y. I'm just going to adhere these down. Okay, so there is the there are the letters. So I'm just gonna tear down the holly berries. They just go right up here, and that's the cover. So I'm gonna go ahead and head right into the first spread. So I'm just gonna turn that over. I'll bring over that page spread, and this is the way you want to be doing your inside pages is side by side. Okay, for this spread, you're going to be cutting out two pieces of this paper right here, and in the instructions, it tells you to go ahead and trace the um, tops and bottoms of this and then cut them out. So I'm just going to get these on here. Then I can trace the edges with the template. Okay, so I've got both of these pieces cut out. And we also have the other side of the paper. And what we're going to do is we're going to be adhering it down to this and then trimming these edges. Okay. And then I'm just using some scallop scissors. And I'm going to do a scallop edge. Okay. 
okay. And that's going to adhere down to the album. Just like that. And then I can take the photos and the photo goes right there in the center. On this side it says season in blue, so I'm going to take some of these blue stickers and I'll put season. Okay, and then this entire center area right here, I'm going to do the exact same thing for the other side. So this is the next page over. So here's the spread we just completed. I'm turning it over and I'm going to start on this one. Um, this one in the pattern paper, when you trace on your template, you have to make sure that the ornament is over here on the side. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere that down. Okay, and since this side already has the holes out, I'm going to use my crocodile, or you could just use a hole punch of any sort. And I'm just coming in here and punching some holes for the rings to go through. Okay, on this side, we have this paper right here, so I'm going to tear that down. Okay, and then I've got some green paper. That'll go right there. And then the photo goes in the center. Okay, the last thing to finish the spread is to put some words right here. We're going to have it say Noel. Okay. Now I'm going to punch the holes over here on this side. Okay, and now I can take the rings and put the whole album together. Just put it through like that. Open up the ring. Put it through just like that. Okay, now I'm going to show you the album page by page. Here's the cover. Here's that first spread that we did. And the second spread. You could add some really fun uh, white stitching with a gel pen or anything like that around the edge. Or keep it really simple like this one. And there's the back cover. So it's a really fun holiday album that you can make. You could even make it in advance uh, like I've done with this one. And then just fill in the photos later after the holidays and you've had a chance to go through all of your photos of your family and friends from Christmas and, and the New Year's. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. And just remember you can pick up this kit over at basicgrade.com. It'll arrive at your home. Everything you need. All you need are uh, scissors and some adhesive and you can put it all together. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.